like Adidas shoes. I wouldn't go as far to say that it's an addiction, but uh, it's a bit of an addiction. I've got uh, two extra pairs of shoes, the shoes that nobody knows about, and an MD CS2. The only picture I have of my CS2 is of my cat hugging them, so yeah, that's, sorry, you can't really see them too much. Now to quickly glaze over the shoes um, that I currently have with me, I've got uh, Pulse Boost, I think is what they're called, I forgot already. I got these like last year. Uh, so I've got Pulse Boost, some Alpha Bounce right here, um, and Ultra Boost 20s. And now the reason that you clicked on this video. My cat's behind the camera, she's the one manning the camera. So if I move around, these are the Ultra Boost, gotta get behind the camera. These are the Ultra Boost PV, and they're pretty recently released. Now that I've moved away from the cat because she's sitting in front. Um, I've worn these once at a farm, so the, some of the boost is kind of dirty. Normal Ultra Boost fashion. Uh, they've got the, the split box. And these are the shoes that I have. So I got a pretty bright colorway. I don't actually know exactly what it's called. I'll put some text over the screen right now. Um, yeah, I've only worn them once. If you guys order them and know what size you wear, my Ultra Boost 20s are nine and a half, but for these I would have gone nine. But they're, I'm just gonna leave them be slightly big. I'll grow into them. So yeah, if you order them and don't think you'll grow into them, order half a size smaller than you normally would. Here's the other shoe. It still has the tag on it. The only thing that's in the box is the shoes and some ultra boost paper. I forgot to grab the shoes when I started recording again. Uh, my gimbal stopped tracking my face, so I had to restart the recording. Um, but yeah, these are the ultra boost 20s. Or ultra boost PVs, not the 20s. Cat, get out of the way! No! You're in my So, sorry, my cat wants to steal the show. She's actually behind the camera right now. Um, I had to stop the last clip because she was right in front of the camera. Um, but to compare these shoes to the Ultra Boost 20s that I have here, um, these shoes, yeah, they're they're bigger. Um, the upper is completely different. It's a lot more lightweight, a lot more breathable, and it's mesh instead of prime knit. It's got a really nice, super padded tongue. To it. it is attached, but it's pretty floppy. My cat is making this so difficult. I'm gonna have to do so much editing. Um, so, one thing that lots of people actually probably would, one thing that people would actually probably like quite a bit more about these shoes is the, um, the cage. There's no cage, like the Ultra Boost 19 and 20s. It's just shoelaces on there. These shoes are very um, running focused, even compared to the 20s. Um, the 20s have a more soft padded back. They're more comfortable for like daily use. Uh, these shoes do have a good amount of padding, but some people do say that after a while of use, um, some of the supports start to dig into your ankles. So if you have like wide ankles or something like that, maybe, the Ultra Boost PBs are not for you. I love the 20s, so if you are thinking about getting Ultra Boost, 20s would be a good one. Um, so yeah, I will cut to an on foot of them now. So these are the Ultra Boost 20, or Ultra Boost PB, I keep forgetting. The shoes themselves look really nice. Sorry, I got dog hair all over my pants. Um, those little dots you can't really see, but it's a super thin there, and it's super breathable. Um, so I'd probably recommend black socks with these shoes, because it is kind of see-through. Um, unless you have the white colorway. Um, so, these shoes look super nice. Alright, yeah, so this is what the shoes look like on foot. Um, 
They're made out of more of a mesh material than the Ultra Boost 20. They have this nice color. The camera's shaky because my cat's touching it. Um, yeah. So this is what they look like. Right foot. Um, left foot. Let's go to some cinematic shots. My cat knocked down the camera. We out. Let's ride, you should let me take you home I just wanna make you mine Girl, tonight, I don't wanna wait too long You just wanna waste my time Let's get high, girl, I know it feels so wrong But you're gonna be just fine Yeah, I'm so blind, I get lost up in your eyes Trust me, I will be alright We can work it out, we can do anything that you want it now When I fall in love, seems I'm never falling out You be the drug if you wanna burn me out is they're super nice adidas never fails to disappoint me um out here is a nicer spot to record because my cat can't mess up the camera i'm looking at her inside right now um so yeah these shoes are super nice um if you're looking for a good pair of running shoes get these shoes um adidas likes um they do a lot of deals so if you're looking for a good deal on shoes, just wait for these to go on sale. Um, I had some gift cards and got them for a really good price for like $30 or something. Um, I think as of the time this video is coming out, they're um, like $130, something like that. Uh, yeah, they're super nice. They're pretty comfortable. They're super breathable compared to my ultra boost coins um outside in the sun you can definitely see the fact that i'm wearing white socks so black socks are probably better for this these shoes are super nice um they've got super squishy boost uh i'm pretty much a strict adidas person other than the fact that i got like my my like cheap JC Penny Under Armour pants and my $9 Target shirt. Uh, other than that, Adidas. Adidas for shoes. All the way. I forgot to film an outro, so here I am in my messy room. Um, overall, I recommend the Ultra Boost PB. Um, if you're a big runner, if you're looking for a more comfortable shoe, um, I'd recommend the Ultra Boost 20. Sorry, I'm distracted because I got a piece of hair sticking out. Uh, yeah, I'm editing right now. I will see you guys in the next video.